cloud. Okay, everybody, welcome to the Green Valley Camera Club's Multimedia Special Interest Group on November 8th. And we've got a really great group of people here today, and I hope they're brought, they've brought along a bunch of uh, videos to share. So, who has a video? Okay, Sherry has, and Barb has, and Kevin has, okay. and Pat. Did I yeah. see your hand? Yeah. Pat, okay. Who else? Uh, okay, well, that's okay. Kevin, Sherry, hey. Pat, and Barb, right? Yeah, it looked like Larry waving his hand, too. Larry, did you wave your yeah, hand? I, I've got one, but I lost it. Oh, <laughs> okay. So it may, it you, may appear again. I think I okay. clicked on it and moved it somewhere, and I have no okay. idea where it went. Hi, Sarah. But that's okay. If, if it doesn't appear, it's fine. Good morning, Sarah. Hi. Hi, Dad. I'm still alive. <laughs> oh, good. Are you in Green Valley or someplace else? Indiana. Indiana. Yeah, we're going to probably come out during this month sometime. Aha. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay. So, uh, Sarah, did you have something to share? No, I did not. <laughs> I see. Holly has something to share. No, I don't. No, oh. I don't. I just oh. have um, some information to share before we're done. Before we're done, would you like to put it up front? That's, that's fine, yeah. Okay, why don't you go okay. with that? So go ahead, did you say? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, so I just wanted everybody to know um, about the speaker series and where we're at with that. Um, I'm going to be the like experimental speaker for November 18th. And any of you who want to, please tune in. It's at two o'clock Arizona time. So you'll have to figure out where it is your time. Um, and Brian has really done a great job. Uh, you can go to Wild Apricot and look at how to get on uh, the hybrid Zoom. So we're going to try that. I don't know, Brian, where you're at with the video portion with the hybrid. You do realize that there were two authors on that uh, project. Susan? Mm -hmm. Okay, and you. Anybody else? No. Okay. So uh, they, they uh, yeah, you should take a look at that. It's really, they did a lot of work and it's very nice and it should. I won't be in Green Valley till mid-January. So I won't be able to help with the in-person part. Phil Rock is kind of working on it. And Brian and Susan, I think are, are going to try with the board meeting. Did that work out or not? Nobody said anything to us about a board meeting today. Okay. All right. Danny, I talked uh, to, as I told you, I talked to um, Danny about whether he wanted to do that to, for the training, and and he apparently has not. So we haven't heard from him in two weeks. Okay. And the last right. communication well, was us telling him, "Hey, let yeah. us know." Yeah. This. I guess there's some confusion about what speaker series is all about but as of now we're still having it and we're still having it zoom and phil's gonna set up the projector and open the room and i don't know if um brian and susan will be contacted about the rest of the equipment i don't know it's it's sitting in a locker okay. and kevin the you're still slated for december correct perfect good okay that's it <laughs> Thanks okay, so so oh, and yeah. Barb, Barb is going to contribute to speaker series by some of her videos. Uh, we're going to focus on um, photographs used as thank yous, and as you might remember, she did one, and I think has another one for you today that's that way to sort of exemplify to the people who aren't in uh, multimedia sig how photographs can be used as a thank you missive. So if any of you have one. Um, other than Barb, that you'd like to show at the speaker series, let me know. That's it. <laughs> okay, so, um, and I have another public service announcement also. I got a message from Chuck Hill, and I guess that he's been watching our videos and would really like to have contributions for the uh, 
showtime. And he recognized that there are a number of us, you folks, uh, who have been producing th uh, videos that would be great to show at showtime. So please contact Chuck Hill with um, what you have, okay? All right, do we have a volunteer to go first? I'd be glad to. All right, Sherry. Okay. So what I uh, what I have is um, it's a little less than 15 minutes and it's our trip to Sicily. Um, so it's another uh, travel one. And um, this time because of the comments on the you know, on the uh, narration that I received on the last one, I bought this um, let's see if it'll show. Hold it in front of you. Okay. A <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, here. It's a it's a thing that wraps around. Uh, it's a foam speaker thing, you know, that I wrap around my mic to uh, to help with the sound when I'm doing it because I record right into the computer. So going into a closet doesn't really work for me. Um, and uh, so anyway, I got this thing and I hope it makes a difference on the sound. I wear hearing aids and I just couldn't tell the difference. I tried doing it with this, without this. Um, I try, you know, and I, I couldn't tell a difference myself. But anyway, uh, we'll see if <laughs> some of you that are more uh, attuned to the sound of things <laughs> if it actually helped. Okay, are we set up for share screen? Uh, yes, we are. Thank you. And share sound, optimize, share, and Sicily. Uh oh. We're just still seeing your desktop. Yeah, it just it gave me when I went to go in and play it. It it's giving me a um, system error. Huh. Did you have it up and running first before you went to screen share? Uh, no, I never have. I mean, it's it's always worked for me. Okay. Um, how I've done it. Um, let me go off of screen share though, and I will try that. No, it's for some reason it's uh, not working right now. So uh, why don't we go on to somebody else, and then I will. Um, find out what it's doing. Okay, so uh, I know you've got, most of you have your cameras off right now. Can somebody just speak up and say who wants to be next? Hey, I I'll found my, uh, my film. It's one minute long if you're interested. Larry. Yeah. Okay, let's go to Larry then. Okay, a little background on it. I got in town. I've been in town about a week. Um, Phil was asking me when I was going to be here, and I said, I'm here. So he said, do you want to come out for a shoot with me? And uh, I went out, and I got a bunch of stuff on my phone, and it's one minute long, and it doesn't have a title. It doesn't have narration, just a little music, and it's unofficially titled The Master at Work. Let me see if I can get it going. We're not seeing anything, Larry. Should we be seeing it yet? You, you're you muted, so I can't talk to you. I mean, I can talk to you, but, but you can't talk back. That stuff too, don't I? Yeah. Okay, so I'm share sound, optimize for video. Yes. And share the screen. Okay, look. And if I go back to here, hopefully it will start playing. Got something? Uh, yes.
And that's it. Okay, you can go up to the up to the top and stop sh uh, stop sharing. Yep. There we go. There you go. So, Larry, what were those? It was like a black bar, a uh, vertical one and a horizontal one, kind of over the picture. You know oh, is that right? Oh, I didn't yeah. see it. I think <clears throat> those are Zoom windows um, are menus, and uh, I'm not sure. They show up every once in a while in various places. Uh, uh, we'll hope they won't show up again anymore today. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Larry, that was Phil, right? Yep, yep. He says he's out of town for four days, but uh, he said I could show that. Nice. And he was, uh, the describe his technique there and what he was shooting. Okay, well, he uh, needed a clip. Uh, he's doing a show. Uh, I think it's about uh, ghosts. So he needed a, a cemetery in the desert. So we took those crosses out there and pounded them into the ground actually pounded spikes in the ground and then they fitted on that and then he wanted uh, he said about 10 seconds of of a clip <laughs> so it took us two hours to get that <laughs> okay and and describe his equipment okay well he's got uh, the tracking bar which he just as you see operates um manually and uh I don't have one of those. And since I carry my stuff in a backpack, I don't think I ever will. But I've tried to do the same thing, um, just moving a camera across. And it, it gives you a, a, a different effect than just a, a stable shot on a tripod. So it's something I'd recommend if you haven't tried it yet. Um, because I shot on my camera, you saw there was some jerkiness in the, uh, in the short video clip at the end. And, my premier elements kept fighting me and saying, well, you haven't got the same um, pixel ratio uh, on, on your editor as you have in the picture. And I fought it with it a couple of times and eventually gave up and said, well, for one minute, I'm not doing any more work. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, that was an interesting uh, view into a professional. Uh, so thank you very much. You Okay, so Sherry, do you want to try again, or what's uh, do you have it up and running? Sherry, did you go away? She's <laughs> muted. I'm trying She's to muted. Unmute. There we go. Um, and I'll put my video back on. Um, I was, I somehow something happened to it on my computer. So I have it on YouTube and I can try and play it from, uh, from my YouTube. Um, would that be okay to try that? Well, we can try it. Okay. <laughs> uh, so we'll see if this'll, if this'll work. All right, so we'll do share screen. And I've got both all of those and share and play. Here. September of 2021, we took an amazing trip to Sicily, including a five-day pre-trip to Puglia, Italy. With travel just beginning to open up, we had many hoops to jump. This included our vaccination cards, several negative COVID tests, and other forms. After 24 hours of travel, we landed in Bari, Italy, where we were graciously greeted then transported to the magical city of Matera. There just aren't words for this experience. Matera is one of the oldest towns in the world. It has been continually inhabited for 4,000 years and currently has a population of 16,000. The buildings are known as reverse architecture as they are caves carved into the mountain. Famous films include Ben-Hur, Passion of Christ, The Gospel According to Matthew, and Wonder Woman. Our tour of the town included stairs upon stairs upon stairs upon stairs. 
It happened to be my birthday, and what a celebration! Leaving Matera, we headed to Leche with stops at Albarabello with their fascinating cone roofs. The outskirts of Ostuni for a delightful tour of the intricacies of making olive oil. The best tasting test. We take a sip, swirl it around, swallow it, suck in the air twice. Sucking in the air is like when we eat it. So all the properties of the, the taste will come up. And lots more stairs for lunch in Ostuni. We arrived in Lecce to another beautiful hotel, the Patria Palace. Our tour of the area began with the largest rose window in Puglia. Every detail has a story. We toured several churches with fascinating histories. And saw many ruins. A real treat was meeting a paper mache artist and watching him create one of his masterpieces. from Lecce to Rome to fly into Palermo, Sicily, where we were quickly shuttled to a COVID testing station as they would not allow us into the island without a negative COVID test on the spot. From there, we had a scenic drive to the beautiful coastal town of Cefalu. Welcome drinks are a great start to our Sicilian adventure with our Sicilian guide and our new friends. During our three-night stay, we toured Cefalu and Palermo. My highlights in Cefalu were hiking up La Roca, which involved the climb through the city just to get to the base of the rock, then climbing the stone steps to the 4th century BC Temple of Diana and on to the remains of a 12th century medieval castle via a dirt rock path at about 900 feet above sea level and getting a Sicilian haircut. During our tour in Palermo, we visited a fruit slash fish market and learned that Palermo is a major prickly pear fruit supplier. The pad is used for picks, fiber for clothing, and fruit for liquor and marmalade. An incredibly moving experience in Palermo was meeting with the son of a former crime boss and hearing his stories of his strange and sheltered childhood constantly on the run from the police, media, and rival mafiosi. He never went to school, made friends, or stayed in one place for very long as a youth. He never knew what his father did. He grew up like any child, looking up to his father as a man who loved him and would do anything to keep him safe. He shared about what it was like to learn the truth about his father, who was reviled across all of Sicily as public enemy number one, and how he was then branded by the sins of his father unable to find work or function as a private citizen. Then at the end of our Sicily trip, we got to meet an anti-mafia activist and learn of the progress they have made in exposing and liberating citizens from the control of the mafia. From uh, 1968, uh, his family uh, start to grow and to live here. Casba is the first Arab city in Sicily. It was built as a labyrinth with short streets with many dead ends for safety. 
The captain who found the satyr was fishing for red shrimp. He was surprised when the statue grabbed the net to be rescued. Our guide surprised us with the opportunity to meet the captain and hear his story. When the moon is too high, I can be pizza kid, that's some morning. When the world seems to shine like a view, it might the soul day. Well, you ring, take a like a ring, take a like a ring, and you see me the better luck. Let you ring, take a like a ring, take a like a ring, like a yay, not a bell. That's a moment. That's a moment. When you dance down the street, when you come, how do you treat you When you walk. Agrigento is the last Greek colony founded in Sicily and home of the best preserved Valley of the Temples from 480 BC. Nearby, we were treated to a delicious Sicilian lunch with a surprise. Generations, father to son tradition of Sicilian carts, each cart telling a story. These are the only known fully restored carts. We left early to beat the crowds to the Roman ruins with the largest preserved mosaics. The tiles are made of marble and the colors are natural. Then we stopped for a delightful lunch at a seven generations winery now run by two award-winning sisters in this male-dominated industry. Our three-night stay in Ragusa included many amazing experiences. After the tour, our leader surprised us with another stop. His music and story moved us to tears. We got a couple hours to shoot views. And now enjoying the fruit of our labor. The last leg of our trip is to Zephyrana on Mount Etna and yet another amazing hotel. Highlights include our incredible bus driver and how he navigated the narrow, mountainous roads filled with switchbacks and traffic with such safety and skill. 
our trip leader who took care of all the day-to-day -day details including numerous meaningful surprises and the beautiful experiences in Catania, Taromina and Mount Etna. I did not want to go to the War Museum, yet it moved me deeply. Sicilians love Americans. We saved them and so many others when we joined the fight. I am proud and humbled to be an American. This was followed by another deeply moving experience at Casa di Maria, a foster home making a difference in so many children's lives. we would be remiss to not share the incredible Sicilian food. We ate and drank very well. Wonder war seems to shine like a new that might the soul When you ring, think it like a ring, think it like a ring, and you see me the bell um, now where are you guys? Oh, Sherry. Up at the yeah, car. That was incredible. Yeah, Sherry. <laughs> wow. That was great. Right there. Oh, there you go. Thank you. <laughs> Everything was great. The transitions, the music, the the videos put together beautifully. Wow, I am very, very nice. impressed. That's amazing how you put two or more videos on the same screen at the same time. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I like the multi multi images on the screen. It really kept it moving fast, and mm -hmm. you could get lots of background in behind. It. That was good. Thank you. What, what did you use to put that together? Elements? Yes. Premier Elements. Yeah. Okay. And I like the fact that you had uh, recorded um, some musicians, singers or whatever, and then, and then you cut away to stills, came back to them. Um, that I felt was really interesting. And the music, uh, all except for one piece that I got from the um, from a free source, but all of that music was music that I recorded from the 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 music the maestro from the gal who was singing from our host person and from the street musician. Um, pretty much, I was just trying to use only that music which I had. Um, Done. And on future trips, I'm going to make sure and record more because I didn't have quite enough. So I had to <laughs> was that with the tour company? Yes. Yeah. Uh, what Our company? Uh, Overseas oh, Adventure it? Travel. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, they are good. And what? A, wow, what a trip. It, it looked everything you did looked like an OAT trip. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. Unless, it was, it was unless a, you think that we're just being quiet for, for whatever reason, we both enjoyed it. It, oh, it yeah. moves. Uh, there's a lot in there. You know, there are things that we wouldn't do, but you know, you you're developing a style. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, it's very personal to you, and <laughs> it works. We think it's great, and you you did some pushing of your own boundaries in that one. You you went out on a limb and tried some things. And uh, for that, you get a big round of applause. Mm -hmm. Could you guys tell a difference, Brian and Susan, on the on the audio? Because it was, I mean, because you're the ones who have yeah. um, talked to me about that the most, you know, and, and so that's why I bought this thing to see if it would make a difference. Um, well, that's that's going to help. Um, generally thought the audio was OK. You could have ducked the music a little bit more under your speaking. It was it, it, it competed in place. Okay. But um, you know your, your audio is coming along. Um, yeah, that was what I thought. This was really enjoyable. I enjoyed it. Hey. Yeah, that was a fast fifteen minutes. Yeah, that makes me want to go sign up to go. <laughs> yeah. Hey Sherry, I got a quick question for you. Yeah, Kevin. Um, you. I thought you did a great job like everyone else. And when I was listening to your, your voiceover, it sounded at first, the very first thing is I was thinking you were doing a special effect, like with a projector or some sound mm. like that. Well, at some point I heard it throughout your audio and I don't know if you had a fan on or something, but there was some, if we, if you listen to that again with a, a critical ear, and it's not a huge deal, but it sounded like there was some sort of other noise in the room. So it, it wasn't completely okay. dead. So I don't, that's something to think about for future use. And I would agree with Brian and Susan about just knocking that music down just a little bit because it did fight with your voice a little bit. Yeah. Um, so that's something to think about. The other thing that, that I saw that just as a quick goodie, when you had the... A uh, young man talking about the mafia and his father and all of that. Yeah. Well, you started showing other pictures that were unrelated to what what you were talking about, and so I I found myself kind of fighting with. I'm trying to listen to what you're saying about the mafia guy, yet mm -hmm. I'm looking at other pictures of different things, and maybe the the thought going forward there too is maybe just have a little bit of video of the guy talking, you just knock the, knock the uh, him talking down and then it's your narration. So at least you see him sitting there talking about stuff and whatever else is going on. So that was just something that yeah. I got a little confused about. So again, I wouldn't go back and fix this video, but I think for future use, maybe think about that. That was a, uh, a challenging, um... I had to really figure out what, what I was going to do because I I wanted to share that story. It was a it was a really huge experience uh, for us, and I wanted that my, the story of the narration. His English was not good, and I wasn't um, I wasn't given permission to record um, uh, in, in there, and so. Um, and I didn't want to just have a dead screen with one picture on it you know, right. the, uh, for that narration. And I had quite a few um, other photos that I wanted to share on the trip. And so that's, that's why I did the blurb that says the photos weren't related, but I wanted to be able to share those videos and to have something going on while I was telling this story. Um, I, I do agree that it was, you know, I could, that it was um, challenging because it was like requir requiring kind of a multitask thing. Um, but that was something that I really did think through uh, to try and just not have a blank screen and still share the story. Um, sure. Um, but I do appreciate that feedback very much. Thank you. And I'll agree. Uh, there, there are always trade offs no matter what you do. Yeah. What you gain on one, you lose on another. What are you? Um, editing your audio in my audio i'm just doing it um what my narration audio yeah yeah in premiere elements oh okay um i mean have i a look, I've, have a look at using audacity well i've i've downloaded audacity 
and I've gone in to try and use it and I haven't been um, willing to take the time yet to go through the learning curve. Yeah. <laughs> and I haven't been able to just easily figure it out. And so I just go back to what I'm um, at least have some familiarity on how to use for mm -hmm. right now. Well, the, the trick that I've used to try and balance uh, narration and any other background like music is to set my audio at the maximum level, which is minus two, minus three decibels below clipping. And then I duck everything else under that when it's up. I okay. never change my narration. You know, that's my, that's my starting point and everything else is gauged against that. And you could probably do it in premium elements. I, I haven't done it, but I know it has that kind of stuff available too. Awesome, thank you. Jerry, did you get my chat about sharing that with Paul McCreary? Oh, uh, let me open the chat. Oh, there it is, okay. Uh, actually, I, I did um, reach out to him and I just this morning put it on a flash drive, but now I need to make sure that it's not, not uh, that it's gonna work because it wasn't, I had copied it from the one on my desktop and the one on my desktop now is not working for some reason. So, um, but yeah, I was okay. planning. Well, I'm sure that. he'd love that for Travelog. It's excellent. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. And I noticed as Kevin mentioned that underlying hum uh, and uh, it was, I don't know if it was through the whole thing, but it, but it was through quite a bit of it. Okay. Uh, uh, for me, I mean, I've had it happen when I was using a, a lens that was stabilized and on a tripod and I didn't turn the stabilizer off. There's that hum that's trying mm -hmm. to stabilize it, but you weren't using that no. kind of uh, thing. So the hum was probably environmental in your room. It, yeah, it may have been the air conditioning or something. I, yeah, I'll, I'll have to, I'll, I'll be aware of that. Thank you. Yeah. There okay. may be a noise reduction uh, feature in your audio processor. You, you can yeah. record nothing, get the ambient background, and then grab that and reduce it throughout the, the audio clip. You can do that in Audacity. I don't know about elements. I did think about calling you a couple times when I was working on it. <laughs> well, I, I didn't, but uh, but I, I I may just give you a call in the next time on the next video I work on, <laughs> if that's okay. Larry's in town too. <laughs> well, thank you very much, Sherry. That was very very interesting. Um, like I say, makes me want to go. Um, so. Who would be like to be next? Be next. Barb, okay. Go for it. All right. Uh, a little background. Uh, recently, we uh, visited two friends we've met in Green Valley from the Finger Lakes in uh, New York State. And um, we went the second week in October. And um, as Holly mentioned, um, I've started doing thank you notes to people uh, through my photography. So get back, put together a little um, movie of, um, of the photos and stuff. And so this is a thank you to them uh, for showing us their area. We were there a full three days um, with them. Okay. Is it up there? Yes. Okay. And we're getting black those all those black bars again. Are they there now? Uh, a few of them, but not as many as they were last time. It's when I reduce the uh, screen, you know. So I've got. I I don't know how to totally get that away. You know what I'm talking. Uh, yeah. Don't make it full screen, Barb. Is it full screen? Yeah. Uh, no. And did you select just the window when you did your uh, selecting of the window in, in Zoom? Try it one more time. Okay, so stop share now and try it again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
And so just click on, on it one time, you mean, Kevin? Yeah, you're just clicking on the screen that's got the, the QuickTime movie. That's what you want yes. to share with us. That's Ready? better. Okay. Don't mash it, it's, it's well, not. <laughs> <laughs> well, the stuff is just up at the top. It's, yeah. Yeah. Okay, now enlarge my screen, full screen now. I, I wouldn't. Know. I wouldn't. Just, just hit play. I think we'll be okay. Well, you got to re. You're at the end of the movie. You got to go back. Oh, <laughs> there we go. That would help. Okay.
Beautiful. Very nice. Very nice. Really, really nice. nice, Barb. Yeah. So you packed in a wallop of stuff in uh, three days. <laughs> It was great because they've lived there 50 years. And so they would take us on the back roads and oh. area anyway. And so it was, it was a wonderful, beautiful trip. So, so what cameras were you using? <laughs> <laughs> My only one. Um, I, I have an iPhone 13 now. So. Oh, wow. The pro. Yeah, oh, it looked good. It looked really good. Thanks. I thought, what a view of New York. You know, most people, when they think of New York, don't think that. But I miss that part. <laughs> I need to get down here. Yeah, it is, it's just beautiful countryside. Pretty oh. little. So did you get a reaction yet from sending it to them? I did. I, I sent, sent it just the, well, no narration, obviously. But I, it takes me a long time to do narration, as you know, since I don't do it very often. So. They were with us the whole time. They knew what those pictures yeah. were, and so I didn't feel a need to say anything in it. And so um, sent it off to them last week, and uh, uh, they they were just blown away. Actually, to indicating that is the best thank you note <laughs> we have ever received. And so that that I've been doing that some for people as well as like birthday cards, finding old pictures, not old, but pictures of the people and sending it with a happy birthday greeting and all. But they were just pretty much overwhelmed with that thank you. So um, just an idea for all of you that it, it doesn't have to be that. That one's a little yeah. off, but you know, that's kind of, I'm not showing it to anybody else necessarily. It was, it was to them. And yeah. how did you get it there? Um, I used Google Docs and just dropped it in my Google Docs. And then it, within that program, it sends it as a link. Now, I've used other programs. Uh, WeTransfer is another one. And Smash, S-M-A-S-H. And uh, both of those, uh, all three of these platforms I've used to send something. And on a Mac on mail program, I think it goes as file mail or mail. It, it, yeah. it will allow you to send that large files. Work, um, doesn't that just work Mac to Mac though? Well, it could, that's possible. I, although it sends a link and the link is from the iCloud. Um, so I don't know that it, for sure, but I, I think it will work to anybody because it's just a link to a document. Okay. Biomail, huh? Okay. Good. I like the way that uh, you can't help yourself, can you? You have to get pictures in there, photographs that are just plain artistic. They are. They're just beautiful. Yes. Some Each really one. nice photography in there, mm -hmm. in amongst the personal memorabilia. Thank or you. you even made an artistic photograph out of the food, for Pete's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Yeah. Extremely nice, yeah. Okay, so that's uh, Pat, I mean, uh, Barb is uh, down. So we have uh, Kevin and Pat. Let Pat go, because mine is uh, about 12 minutes, so it's too long for today. So we'll just do it next time. Okay. Okay. Pat, uh, Barb, send me your link. Mine's about four minutes long. It's. Uh, a quick trip through uh, Virgin River Gorge. Let's see now here. Share screen. And there, at the bottom, there are two buttons on the left side to to yeah. click for optimizing for the video and the recording or sound. Yeah, got those clicked. Okay, that looks. You're coming up. What is being seen? Oh, see anything? No, we're seeing your uh, desktop, is what we're seeing. Okay. Well, let me start the video, see if that works. Okay. We see the video. There we go.
movie. So don't say anything bad. It looked like you had some good scenery, Pat. The uh, only bad thing was the bandwidth, I think, killed you. Your what? bandwidth was really uh, pixelated. The images were all pixelated. Oh. Did anybody else see that? Yeah. Yeah. Which yeah. is me. Yeah. Very pixelated. So why is that, Kevin? Well, my assumption is, I mean, we're like we're looking at Pat right now, and he looks fine in terms of, you know, he's not getting pixelated. Right. <laughs> he looks good, but I don't right. think it's a Zoom thing. I just think it's a thing where uh, maybe at times the, the bandwidth at his house, his upload speed is dropping. And so it's just not giving us the full uh, resolution video, so to speak. So it gets super pixelated. I mean, probably about two or three minutes in it, it did clear up a little bit and then it went back mm -hmm. to being real pixelated again. So uh, I just think that. it's a, well, no, it's not your fault. It's just, I think it's a, a bandwidth issue. So you just need some more giddy up, Pat, but you do look good. <laughs> yeah. So Pat, what, were, what camera were you using? <laughs> that was my phone. Okay. Which phone and what was the, what was your video setting? <laughs> The Samsung uh, pen, I think, and I don't know. Okay, <laughs> so so probably the same as the iPhones. You can uh, 
record probably at different resolutions from 420 all the way up to at least uh, 1080 uh, P. Uh, so the faster you can record, uh, the better the outcome will be. Um, my, my thought is, Pat, when you're looking at it on your computer, it looks the video looks good, doesn't it? Sure does. Yeah, then I think it's a bandwidth issue. Well, yeah, I'm on CenturyLink here in Green Valley, and uh, as I was up on the Northwest, so I'm sure it's a bandwidth thing. Yeah. Just Susan just had a thought. Is your wife in the other room watching YouTube videos off the same router <laughs> that you're using to upload? <laughs> no, actually, that, that happens up in the Northwest when our neighbor shares our bandwidth, but actually she's off shopping now. Okay, that blows that theory. That could be then leaves still leaves neighbors pirating on your system. <laughs> well, I don't think so. Well, the bad thing. CenturyLink doesn't offer that fast of bandwidth down no. here in Green Valley. No. So I think that that's probably the issue. Unfortunately. Right, right. So, so one last there, question. Oh. Uh, Pat, have you ever stopped to camp at uh, the Cedar Breaks campground in the, the gorge there? It's a lovely campground. Yeah, that's where we left from, actually. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Pat, I didn't get down where it was you were you were uh, on that trip. Well, it, it's south, going south from St. George, Utah, on high, on I-15, and it's called mm -hmm. uh, the mm -hmm. Virgin River Gorge, and it's in the kind of the northwestmost corner of Arizona. It's called the Arizona Strip. Yeah, the Arizona Strip, and then. After you get out of the gorge and you pop back into Nevada. Okay. <laughs> good to good to know where 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 you were located. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we we were just blown away by the scenery. So I'm sorry it didn't come across well. Well, you know, you never know, and Zoom is. Uh, oh, this would be a time to remind everybody that for next time. Be sure that you update your Zoom um, application before you log in. And I didn't do that today. I better do it because I have another Zoom meeting tonight. But um, yeah, uh, there's there are constantly making uh, changes, and so uh, just update. How do we do that, Grace? Um, you well, while you're in, I mean, while you're in Zoom, right? Uh, you know, after we after you log out, or before even, uh, it's under under uh, Zoom, and you just it, go down to check for updates. I can do it right now. What wonder what happens? <laughs> you will lose you probably. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Well, it went behind the scenes, so uh, no. Fortunately, we didn't. Okay. Yeah. So this is also a reminder that we are meeting on the uh, second and uh, fourth uh, Tuesdays, I mean, Mondays at this point. Uh, so the next one would be November 22nd. Um, is anybody wanting to do anything differently? Hearing nothing. I think you're doing great. I think you're doing great. <laughs> okay. Here. Um, all right. So um, I think I'm going to stop the recording then, and then we can carry on any conversation recording. Uh, stop.